Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's session, I'm actually going to show you some uh, good resources that are out there in the internet because a lot of the times I get uh, questions from you uh, that can you please point me to the mapping documentation or can you please point me to like how do I develop a business process, right? Uh, there are already plethora of uh, resources uh, which you may not be aware or you may be aware, right? So I wanted to just give you a quick refresher of those documentation, the community which is there, which is very vibrant. Like in case if you have some specific questions, right? Or errors or issues that you're facing in your day-to-day -day, uh, work and you are looking for some expert help on Sterling, I would uh, recommend you all to use this platform to get your questions answered. It has been helpful for me uh, when I used to work in Sterling and I hope this is useful for all of you. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are aware of this recent development. Uh, so earlier, I think we used to call this like uh, Sterling B2B community, but now they have changed the naming convention, uh, the IBM product team, and they have named that community as Sterling Data Exchange, right? Uh, which is like Sterling DE. Now, this is the uh, website that I wanted you to point, uh, and I'm going to share this link even in the description box in case you're not able to uh, copy that so that you're able to access it after uh, going through my video. Now, in this landing page, in the home page, if you see it's mentioned Sterling Data Exchange 101, right, which is like talking about uh, different products, the documentation, all that. Now, if you see, if you scroll down, there are like different subsections like introduction, working with IBM support, top videos, right? Like if you see there are like Sterling Control Center related videos, right? And then like if you want to explore the Sterling Data Exchange uh, community where there are like already a bunch of topics based on different uh, issues or errors or, or questions that the entire like, uh, uh, like Sterling uh, uh, technical folks are facing, they, they, they actually post it over here and then there are like folks from the product team, the architecture team that tries to respond and even the other community members. So if, this is a vibrant community. I would definitely recommend to create a login ID here and utilize this as much as possible. The other area, if you see, like if you go to go back to Sterling Data Exchange landing page, and then on the top, if you click on the resources, there is a uh, community called SDE community, right? You can uh, click on that, it's going to open a different page. And then here, right, if you, as I mentioned, if you can create a, a profile for yourself, you can actually network, learn, and share with, with the experts in, in, in Sterling Integrator. Now, uh, just to give you a glimpse of it, if you see there are like blog posts on different topics of Sterling Integrator, there's like uh, some kind of uh, questions, right? Latest discussion forums and all that on different uh, uh, topics, which which really helps like uh, to maybe remedy some of the common issues that you might face and you are struggling, right? How to uh, how to fix it, right? In, in in your in your project. The other good thing that I suddenly came across and I wanted to share with all of you is uh, the events, right? There are like lot of events and webinars that are happening across the board which i'm not sure how many of you are aware of it but if i click on this uh, event section and click on view more it's going to give me all the upcoming events right different user groups uh, and then like what are why exactly it is happening if it is happening somewhere near uh, to where you are based out, you can certainly go uh, in this physical user group meetups. It's a good way of networking and also getting to know each other and also like exchanging ideas and and uh, like different uh, topics, right? So so I would highly recommend using this uh, even page, right? If you see like Sterling Data Exchange Innovation Day, it's in Texas. There's one in Montreal, there's one in Las Vegas, right? So this is one of the good area that I, I explored and I thought I'll share with all of you. The other uh, area is like, let's say you want to uh, 
share your resource, right? Or you want to post uh, your own blog, right? You can use those uh, 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 using this portal. You can you can actually share those with the with the broader community. There are st like subtopics within this data exchange. So if you want to like have specific topics around managed file transfer, you can go to managed file transfers. Or let's say you want to focus on B two B integration, right? You can even go there and have. Uh, like share ideas, ask questions, and all that. So uh, this is a very good resource that I used to use like on during my day-to-day -day work, and I would highly recommend. There are webinars if you see over here, all tech exchange webinars. So let's say if you are not able to go physically, right, due to probably the location where it is happening, there are a lot of like on-demand sessions as well, right, that you can uh, subscribe to and 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 listen in uh, during your uh a spare time so that's that that's that's all for today's uh, video i hope this was useful for all of you uh, feel free to post your comment if you want some more uh like uh specific topics that uh, i can cover in my future videos and happy to look into them and and consider them uh uh, uh moving forward